Introducing Data Mining with Python. This is an intermediate to advanced level Python course that will teach you the conceptual underpinnings and practical techniques involved in data mining. In this video, the one you're watching right now, I'm going to explain to you how this class is structured, the material it covers, and the prerequisites for the course. But first, you might be wondering, what is data mining in general? Is that different from data science? Are they the same thing? What's the deal there? So let's start with a clear definition. Data science is a huge field. It's multidisciplinary and covers a wide range of topics like predictive modeling, big data analytics, and many others. Data mining is a subcategory within data science. Data mining deals narrowly with the process of extracting meaningful information from large data sets. Data mining is a core part of many other disciplines and fields, and the techniques involved in data mining are applicable to everything from biostatistics, to day trading, to AI and machine learning. Data mining is the set of core competencies involved in seeing the signal when everyone else just sees the noise. This course will train you in those core competencies. Specifically, this is how the course is laid out. We start by teaching you data wrangling. That's the process of importing and cleaning up your data so that it can be processed later. In these early sections, we also cover a lot of core statistical and mathematical concepts, and we show you examples of how data mining is used in the wild. Once you have that foundation covered, we jump headfirst into the core techniques of data mining, cluster analysis, classification and regression, support vector machine, that is SVM, SVC, and SVR, association, correlation, and covariance, and dimensionality reduction. With those techniques and concepts under your belt, we then move on to frameworks and start showing you how to use Apache Spark. While we're doing that, we go over different ideas like map versus flat map, transformers, estimators, and pipelines, and show you Spark ML to give you a taste of machine learning. Next, we move into the more advanced techniques of mining and storing data. We'll cover text mining and network mining, We'll show you how to mine a SQL database, and we'll show you how to use a few Python matrix libraries. We're going to end the course by transitioning away from strict mining and actually applying your new skills to natural language processing. You might have heard of natural language processing before. It's the core concept that makes software like chatbots or Siri or Alexa possible. Natural language processing allows a computer to attempt to understand the words that a human is writing or speaking and we'll jump right into that here. We'll show you text cleaning, count vectorizer, TFIDF, and more. Now, how is this course structured? This is a self-paced online course, meaning there are no deadlines. You can go as fast or slowly as you want, but there are quite a few homeworks and projects you'll need to complete and submit as you go. You'll watch video lectures, work on homeworks and projects, and if you like, participate in group discussions and coding challenges in our student forum. When you complete the course and pass all the homeworks and projects and the final exam, you'll earn a digital certificate with your name on it that is unique and blockchain verified. You can share it on LinkedIn, print it out, or link to its public URL on your resume. But more importantly, when you complete this course, you're going to firmly understand all those concepts I just mentioned, and you'll be able to apply them in your work. If you're looking to get into data science, but you don't know where to start, this is the place. Data mining is the best way to jump into data science. This class is a rigorous introduction to the field, and it's fine if you have no other data science experience. So what are the prerequisites? In order to do well in this course, you must know Python. It doesn't matter if you know Python 2 or Python 3, the instructor will switch back and forth and use both. It's up to you to choose which one you want to use as long as you know one of them. If you do not already know Python, this course is not for you. We have another course on our platform called Python is Easy and you should start there instead. Don't start here, this course is not for beginners. In addition, obviously, you must have access to a full-size laptop or desktop with a modern browser. This is not the kind of class you can take or pass on your phone. You're going to be working with large data sets, and you need a real development machine. And that's about it. If you want to watch sample videos from this course, you can do that on the course landing page. That's where you can also read the details of the course syllabus and more. 
If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us anytime.